Evening folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch, Thursday, May 15, 2025. I'm going to continue uh, my suggestion that Earth is developing a multipolar field resulting in multiple weak spots, and that's the reason for our recent uh, power grid instabilities and failures, and also how uh, uh, the movie Leave the World Behind the narrative that the, uh, they are showing you is uh, the, the false narrative, covering up the real reason, the premise of that movie. Let's get into it. Uh, first, before we do, there's, there's three types of space weather, which are uh, the radio blackouts, the solar radiation storms, and geomagnetic storms. Now, the accelerated solar winds, such as we're going to be receiving in the absence of an explosive event in of themselves, is going to cause a geomagnetic storm. Now, the duration of the space weather uh, impacts can vary from uh, mere minutes to lasting for consecutive days. The last example, for example, the last example was the last time that large coronal hole was facing Earth 28 days ago. It resulted in day after day after day after day of uh, persistent acceleration of the solar winds just non-stop compressing into the magnetopause the sun facing side of the uh, protective magnetic field it was the same time that we had the uh, power failures in uh, spain portugal parts of france all the issues in uh, the united kingdom and so on so this affects the critical infrastructures and technologies communications satellites navigation and power grids We're at the beginning phases. And the movie Leave the World Behind is, is showing you what it's going to be like. Now, solar radiation storms can lead to uh, the uh, secondary radiation effects. So again, when the highly, highly energetic particles interact with uh, Earth's atmosphere, the secondary showering effect, the cascading creation of the muons and the uh, neutrons showering down on us and that's what affects our critical infrastructure the uh, radiation effect can uh, significantly affect uh, our modern transportation systems especially vehicles that become more um, reliant on advanced electronics and automation, autonomous vehicles. In aerospace, uh, this can uh, disrupt critical aircraft avionics, navigational communication systems, and so on. And going back, of course, to the autonomous vehicles, Tesla's, advanced driving systems, Advanced driver assisted systems may experience temporary malfunctions or uh, incorrect actions, such as uh, sudden braking and steering errors. And also, the radiation effects may affect uh, the power management systems of these vehicles and the electric vehicles and hy hybrid vehicles. such as this. Next, geomagnetically induced currents, GICs. Now, the primary mechanism for geomagnetic storms, um, which is to uh, affect power grids, relies in the induction of currents in long conductors, such as power lines, rail lines, and in transformers. Now, uh, the GICs, the uh, geomagnetic induced currents, can saturate the transformers 
which can uh, persist for long durations, depending on the duration of the geomagnetic instability storms, affecting the stability and re reliability uh, of the grid. All this leads to equipment damage and failures. Now, GICs can uh, also interact with the grid's protection systems, causing malfunctions and tripping out the system, leading to widespread power failures, such as uh, various areas of the planet have been experiencing. Next, we're going to talk about uh, the ADS-B radar surveillance failure. Uh, air traffic control management systems rely heavily on uh, heavily on uh, radar systems and automatic dependent surveillance broadcast systems (ADSB). Automatic dependent broadcast systems technology for aircraft tracking and management and safe separations safe separations between two aircraft so there's no conflicts. So the ADSB out systems installed on board uh, aircraft continuously transmit the uh, ADSB messages, which are received by the uh, ground ADSB receiver stations and other aircraft equipped with the uh, the system. Now these systems are relayed to the aircraft at air traffic control centers. But in uh, the GNSS system, which is the Global Navigational Satellite Systems, excuse me, when disrupted by space weather events, can impede ADSB uh, functioning, inhibits their their normal function, causes them to malfunction. Maritime transportation also relies on the GNSS, the Global National Global Navigational Satellite System, uh, which is also vulnerable to uh, space weather effects, geomagnetic storms, can cause GNSS inaccuracies, leading to uh, navigational errors such as and affecting aircraft avionics. So the satellite navigational failure, and once again, the GNSS provides for precise positioning data for modern ships, which they depend on for navigation, route planning, and collision avoidance. Geomagnetic storms can induce rapid and severe fluctuations in the ionosphere, causing causing dis delays and uh, distortions in the signals from the satellites. Railway transportation systems can also be affected because the rail lines are long metal conductors. Railway tracks can receive the induced current, such as the subway stations in England. So in the movie, they leave the world behind. They are telling you what is going to happen, but they have to give you the cover story of the cyber attack. What I am beginning to show you right now is just the beginnings of reaching up to that point, the cascading, the cascading effects. I would you like, I would like you to take in consideration, reevaluate what happened with that uh, cargo ship collision into the Baltimore Bridge a while ago. We had a geomagnetic storm that time, which affected the uh, GNSS 
and the ADSB systems while it was trying to navigate out of port. Consider that possibility. I would also like you to consider the possibility of the Black Hawk collision into the airliner in what, New York? Again, a breakdown or interference of the systems required to ensure separation of aircraft. I haven't kept up to everything that's happening recently to include the uh, radio co uh, communication failures at the Denver airport for two minutes and other ATC air traffic control systems failures towers throughout the United States. Don't, don't start talking about, well, this administration blames that administration. I'm trying to find the truth and explain it to you. So that large coronal hole opening, which releases the faster solar winds, will be exposed to it in about 24, 36, 48 hours. It'll take another one to two, day, two days for that uh, plasma stream to reach us. The last time it was earth facing is when we had all those cascading failures, so the power failures in France, Portugal, Spain, British Isles, and so on. Let's see if it's gonna happen again. So as with everything that they are trying to convey to us, they can tell us what is going to happen. They cannot be truthful and honest with why. This is why they had to come up with the cover stories. When they found the planet, you know what, out there in 1983, it actually is, you know, before then, and they realized the implications the gravitational electromagnetic influence, the pole, the oceans sloshing back and forth, sea level rise. This is when they came up with the global warming narrative. Man-made global warming is going to be responsible for it. In the movie, Leave the World Behind, he is trying to convey a message. He is trying to tell us the truth, and he did tell us the truth. If you know how to seek the truth in that movie and get by the cover story of the cyber attack. Again, I've shown you almost every single scene in that movie. What would happen during either one solar superstorms along with our weakening magnetic field? Or as I'm trying to suggest to you, convey to you, the idea that the planet is now developing a multipolar polar field resulting in weak areas around our planet is what I'm trying to suggest. And that this talk that I just finished giving you explains those scenes in the movie. And it explains what's happening in reality here, suggesting. That is all as you were.